Hello everyone, welcome to this video on field theory. In this video we shall see finite extension of a finite extension is a finite extension. That means suppose we have three fields say F, E and K and they are contained in each other. That means E is the extension of this field F and K is the extension of this field E. Right? And uh, this extension uh, e over f that means uh, is a finite extension that means this degree of e over f that is finite and the degree of k over e that is also finite that means this is also a finite extension then they are saying the extension field k which is defined over an extension of f this is also finite that means the degree of k when taken over f that is also finite so this result says that let f which is contained in e which is contained in k these are the fields and they are saying if this extension k over e is finite the extension e over f is finite then the extension k over f is also finite moreover this extension the degree of this extension k over f so this thing the extension of k over f that is equal to the degree of extension e uh, k over e multiplied by that of extension e over f so this is the result so let us prove this this is a very simple result to prove so uh, for that we have given this uh, degree to be finite so let us call it m and we have also given the degree of extension e over f to be finite so let us call this as n so you also know that any extension field over a given field that acts as a vector space over the given field so this k this act as a vector space treating uh, the uh, scalars taking the scalars from this field e thus we can talk about the basis of this field k over e and uh, what is the degree of this uh, uh, field extension that is equal to m so we have m such elements so let let us call them by v1 v2 up to vm similarly you can say that e is a vector space over f and we have its dimension as n therefore we have n such elements present in the basis of e over f so this is given to us we have just assumed these numbers now we need to show that uh, the degree of k over f is also finite so let us try to take an element from this field k so let this u it belongs to k then we can write this k because k has basis elements v1 v2 up to vm so we can write the element u as a linear combination of its basis elements so this is by virtue of the property of vector space so uh, we have written it over uh, uh, over these basis elements so that would be summation i varying from 1 to n because we have total so it would be a1 v1 plus a2 v2 up to a m v n because in total we have m elements and the degree is m right and these a1 a2 a m they are from e they belongs to e so now again e is an extension field of f that means we can again write these a i elements as the linear combination of the basis elements of e because e is again a vector space over f and taking these scalars now from f so these bijs they belongs to f right so uh, we can substitute this value of ai from here to here so let us see what do we get so we have u is equal to summation i varies from 1 to m as such and the value of ai that would simply be equal to this thing so that is what we have written over here into vi right into vi so we have this thing so now the element that you started with from k 
you have written that element as a linear combination of these elements and how many such elements are there because we have i varying from 1 to m j varying from 1 to n so v i w j that are total m n elements these are total m n elements so you have written your k as a linear combination of m n elements where these constants they are from f so you have written an element as a linear combination of these elements these mn elements and where the coefficients are taken from f so that means you get a generator a generating set of mn elements so you can uh, say that the degree of k over f that would be at most m because this generating set may also contain these mn elements they may also contain some elements which are dependent on each other so uh, in order to get any linearly independent set out of this you have to shrink this set so at most we have mn elements so the degree of k over f should either be equal to mn or it should be less than that equal to that but uh, moreover this mn is a finite number so we can say its degree is finite so we are done with the first part so first part says that the finite extension of a finite extension is a finite extension so this is a finite extension so now to prove the second part what we have to prove we have shown here that Uh, this set v i w j where i varies from 1 to m and j varies from 1 to n consisting of m n elements that forms a generating set that forms a generating set of this k over f now in order to show that this is a basis set we only have to show that these elements they are and linearly independent to each other if that is the case we would have the basis for uh, k over f so these elements should be linearly independent for proving the linear independence what we do linear independence of this basis basis is v i w j where i varies from 1 to n and j varies from 1 to n uh, to prove the linear independence of k over f we must take the scalars from f so that's what we have done we have taken the linear combination of these elements and we have took these scalars from f and we have written these linear combination as equal to 0 now in order to prove the linear dependence if these constants they these b i j s they come out to be 0 in that case we we can say that the vectors b uh, v i w j they are linearly independent so proceeding further this is the expression that we have with us so we can rearrange the terms we can uh, just uh, commute these two because now we are in field and these elements are in k so we can use the commutativity and associativity so we can just commute and uh, take the bra brackets over these two and call this whole term as some uh, some ci for i varying from 1 to m so these ci they belong where you, now you can you see this thing it becomes summation i varies from 1 to m some ci and into multiplied by vi now these vi's we have assumed them to be the basis vectors for k over e so they are in k so these basis vectors they are in k and these uh, constants ci they are in e why they are in e because they are written as the linear combinations of the elements wj which is the basis of e so these are in e so we got a linear combination of vectors vi which which uh, forms uh, and these vi vectors they form the basis for k over f k over e right and uh, because these form bases that means they should be linearly independent that means these ci they should be equal to 0 that, uh, 
this is because it is given that this k i has basis vectors as v i. So v i is a basis vector of uh, k over e that means the c i is at 0 and what is the value of c i that is equal to summation j varying from 1 to n b i j w j that is equal to 0. So these uh, this linear combination is equal to 0. Now you see these wj's they were the basis for E when you take their linear combination and taking the scalars from f these bij's belongs to f. How? Because that's how we have defined them from here like in the, uh, in the last step. Right? So we have wj's they are in e we have bij's they are in f and the linear combination is equal to zero because wj they form the basis for e that means each of these constants bij that is equal to zero so we got bij as equal to zero now if you got bij's as equal to zero we have uh, considered this linear combination and we um, and this linear combination is equal to zero it implies all these bij's they are they are equal to zero it implies that the set w uh, vi wj that is linearly independent if this is linearly independent so it forms a basis for k over f uh, and how many such elements are there in this basis set we have i varying from 1 to m and j varying from 1 to n so in total we have m n elements in it and what uh, what was m m was the degree of k over e and what was n n was the degree of e over f so thus we have reached at our result that we intended to prove so this was quite a easy proof i hope you got the point well that is it for this video thank you for watching